Today we're opening a small but very awesome Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection video. In this video, I got a collection a few days ago and I have opened it up and checked it out because the guy, I was guy to pay him, so I was checking him out, I was evaluating it. It was pretty small, so I was like, I just won't record this. And then I was like, this is some nice stuff. Maybe we should record this. So we're coming back to it. We are gonna record it. I am not currently buying collections because I am a little bit backed up. I have one that I still need to go through and finish up. And then I have a bunch of stuff that I've bought and it's just kind of backed up. So I do not want to buy any more collections as of right now, but we'll get back to that soon. This is probably the last one for the end of the year, probably maybe next year, the January or February, we'll start buying again. Probably not February, probably January, but just FYI, if you were going to send me a message, I've been having to say no a lot recently because I've bought way too much stuff. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Pot of Greed and Dark Magician Girl Rush Duel cards all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know your favorite card from this collection let's get into it all right first off we have a couple of graded cards so we have a bgs graded card so this is elemental hero rampart blaster this is an ultimate rare it looks really nice but you guys know what i don't like about bgs cases it's just hard to see the card because one there's a sleeve in there two they're super reflective same thing with psa they're too reflective you can't really you know with the lights it's just shining all over the place this is a weak 9.5 because it has a 9 involved so how bgs works is if you have three 9.5s and a 9 it's a 9.5 but if i had two 9.5s and two 9s it would be a 9 that would be a strong 9 so this is the worst possible 9.5 you can have but still, it's a 9.5. It's a gold label. Pretty cool. Ultimate rare elemental hero from Elemental Energy, which is very hard to get stuff from uh, that set. It's very rare. So pretty cool card. Then we have one other graded card. We have an elemental hero thunder giant. This is an ultimate rare. So this is a gym mint 10, by the way. So that's, that's pretty amazing. This is from the Lost Millennium. So these two are both going to be for sale. Pretty much everything well maybe not everything there's a few things i might grade but a lot of this stuff is going to be for sale so if you guys are interested you can hit me up another reason good reason to make the video so if you guys are interested you guys can check it out so elemental hero thunder giant very very cool ultimate rare uh there's something on here all right we got it off so we have officially cleansed the uh, back of the slab very nice so two graded cards then it's a bunch of raw cards after this so let's go through them let's check them out first we have this is by far like the the lowest end card we have a uh, wing dragon rod. actually i think there's a couple low end cards but wing dragon raw it's a jump promo this got reprinted in orcs special edition so if you guys remember we opened that in the video with uh maxime aka solemn Yu-Gi-Oh. check that video out it's really fun in frankensons uh, we did an opening, so I pulled one of these out of the Orcs Special Edition. Then we've got a Burst into Tricks, the Lost Art. Pretty cool, not much to say. It's, you know, Lost Art, very, very cool stuff. Here's the lowest end card, Bubble Illusion. So Bubble Illusion's in here, just a regular old card from, uh, what is DP1 again? I think it's like a deck or something. Yeah, it's it's something, I don't know. Duelist Pack 1, maybe it's, yeah, Jaden Yuki, that's what it is, okay. Then we have another Thunder Giant. This is just an Ultra Rare, so okay, nothing too crazy here because there is the Ultimate Rare version, but it is First Edition, which is pretty cool. Then we have a Yubel the Ultimate Nightmare. This is a pretty cool card, Yubel the Ultimate Nightmare. Uh, I think this one was like VLP. I checked some of the conditions earlier, but you don't really see this card that often for, you know, Phantom Darkness secret rares are pretty rare. Like you hear about dad, but then you're like, what are the other secret rares in that set? Can't really remember. You bell the ultimate nightmare is one of them. And it's a really, really cool card. If you play dual links. You experience that card in some of those weird you bell decks. Then here's a really cool one. We have a faded blue eyes, white dragon. This card looks absolutely awesome. Super faded. It's just an unlimited, but you can't, I don't really see any first editions that are like this. It's usually the unlimited that have the uh, the faded variety for the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So back is not completely perfect. I mean, this is like a, like maybe like lightly played, maybe a little bit better than that. It's a really nice and like pretty looking card. Not something I would grade, obviously, but we did grade a faded one one time with, uh, what, was, what was it? It was another graded company we checked out, a grading company. I don't remember what the name was, but very cool card there. I, who knows what the value is on that faded card, but really, really nice. Then we have a couple of elemental heroes. We have Plasma Vice from Glass, and then we have Magma Neos from Tactical Evolution. So we recently picked up a Magma Neos. Well, I actually sold that one, so now we have one more. We've replaced it. Magma Neos and Plasma Neos. These are actually really cool, kind of underrated heroes that you don't really see that often. You know, you usually think of like the ultimate rare ones, but the secret rares are pretty cool. Now, look, I've been playing too much, you know, I don't play that much, but now I'm getting in the habit of, you know, shuffling the cards around. So we got Magma Neos and Plasma Vice. Very cool cards there, secret rares. They actually have some pretty solid value on those. Then we have a Mystic Swordsman level two. This 
is super nice, actually. I need to check and see if this is in better condition than the one I have in my warrior deck for goat. Because this card's actually crazy good, because, you know, you attack a face down and goat. You know, face downs are amazing. Flip, Magician of Faith, and all those different things. You just attack it, automatically destroy it. doesn't get to use the flip effect. So, super nice for, like, side decks. And then warriors, I think, run them in the main deck, usually. Very cool. Mystic Swordsman level 2. Ultimate rare. It's normally, a ri like, a retail ulti, so it's a regular rare, usually. So, pretty cool ultimate rare. Then we have a Treeborn Frog. There's been this guy on Instagram hitting me up saying, hey, when are you selling that Treeborn Frog? So, guy, if you're watching this video, I'm not selling my Treeborn Frog, but I now have a second one, so I will sell this one to you. So hit me up if you want this Treeborn. I think it was near Mint, I believe. Let's just check it out. For Treeborn Frog, guy, specifically for you. Oh, wait, no. There's a scuff on it, so maybe it's a little bit under near Mint. So, maybe it was LP, VLP, something like that. I don't remember, but yeah. Still pretty ni nice condition here, so if you're interested in that, hit me up. And then, oh, that. This card looks crazy. Neospatian Air Hummingbird. Look at this foiling. The unlimited stuff just looks great. Yeah, that is some amazing foiling. Air Hummingbird, beautiful, beautiful card. You love to see it. Very nice condition. Like, I think the worst condition in here, there was like one mod plan. I think it was the Winged Dragon of Raw. That was like 10 bucks anyway. So the rest of them was like light play. Okay, here's some cool ones. We have Elemental Hero Tempest and Elemental Hero Wild Edge. These are the Mattel promo action figures. So these two are not specifically rare because Mattel, what is it called? Edition 3 or Mattel 3 or whatever, the third version of them. That's the one where like the Cyber Dragon thing happened. Those are the rare ones. These like Mattel 1 and 2 are actually not that hard to get. So these are actually not very valuable, but they look really cool. Like look at this foiling. It looks like you put it into like a weird sleeve where like back in the day they'd have like those sleeves that made your card look like they were like holographic in a different way. That's what it looks like, but I, I really like the look of them, so those are at least cool. Then we have ourselves a Stardust Dragon Ultimate Rare. Yeah, that is one of the coolest cards. I mean, it has Ghost Rare already, but the Ultimate Rare, nothing to snub your nose at. It is beautiful. It looks really, really good. First edition, fortunately off-centered, but I think this card was pretty nice condition overall. I think it was like near mint or so, so yeah, pretty nice. Okay, a little scratch going on there, but not too bad. Yeah, it's a pretty big scratch, but the rest of it's pretty clean. So pretty nice card, Stardust Dragon, you love to see it. And speaking of ultis, we have the Chaos Ember Dragon, Envoy of the End. And man, have we been pulling this card a lot recently? Not first edition, unfortunately, but really, really beautiful card. Of course, it means a lot to me with the Unlimited version because I pulled it back in the day when I was hopping back in. 2018, almost five years ago. By the way, I started my channel just over five years ago. November 30th was the five-year anniversary, which is pretty wild that I started my YouTube channel. Okay, I, I, I created the account. I don't know. I don't know when I posted my first video, but I think it was a couple days after that. All right, Ultimate Rares galore. Here we go. Next up, we have, you guys may remember this iconic card from, uh, this is a, not the same one, but Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. We pulled one once. It was, it was an epic moment. It was a great moment. Good clip. Vert contact. Here we go. Dark Effigy. <laughs> Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Ultimate Rare. Boom! Beautiful looking card. I mean, the foiling on this card just looks awesome. So yeah, it's definitely super clean too. So Elemental Hero Dark Bright will be booming once again. Very, very cool. Tactical Evolution Ultimate Rare. Okay, we have four more cards, but we're into the heaviest of hitters. We have Cyber Dark Dragon Ultimate Rare. We recently graded one of these. It got a nine. These always have the foil shift down. It's very interesting. You can see it's covering up like the set code and then the first edition a little bit. And then on the, the circles, it's a little bit... Uh, it's like a, like droopy eyelids, you know, I got some bags under the level's eyes, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember, I think it was in decent condition. I mean, they were all in decent condition, I don't remember how good though. Yeah, this one's not completely perfect, probably like light play on this one with some scratching, you guys can see it. When there's like multiple scratches on there, like a cat got to it, you know, you gotta bump it down a little bit, you guys can see that. Uh, it's really not too bad though. If it's only on the back though, that's still really nice, the front looks amazing still. Cyberdark Dragon, beautiful card. Three cards to go, we have... The Phoenix Enforcer, the Forgotten Elemental Hero. That Nobody really cares about this guy. We did because we had a 10. It was, I think, my first PSA card. I bought a PSA 10 of this card. I still have it, by the way. Yeah, this Phoenix Enforcer looks really cool. I think it's just, I just think it's a cool looking card. It, it's just nice coloring. The red and the green looks really cool. It looks like a superhero, you know, elemental hero. So it makes sense. I think it has a good look to it. So beautiful looking card there. Couple more cards left. We have yet another Flame Wing Man. We've had a lot of these recently. I think we've had four of them. Four Flame Wing Man. We still have not graded the 10, though. We pulled one ourselves, got a 9. I want to, really want to regrade it, but I'm scared to crack cases, guys. It's just scary, you know what I mean? Okay, so the back of this, there might be a little something going on over there, but the card still looks really good. 
elemental hero, Flame Wingman, Jaden's Ace Fusion Monster. Very awesome. You love to see it. And then the final card, the biggest card of probably the biggest card. Yeah, definitely the biggest card. Besides, I mean, some are graded, but I'm talking about if they're raw. Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. Beautiful card. Shining Flare. This would be a crazy 10 to like get at some point. I don't think this one's a PSA 10, but one day I would love to get one. It's actually really hard to take a picture of this card. I've tried before. And the way it reflects, like, look how dark it gets. Like, when you try to take a picture, it really is difficult to capture it, like, and get all the foiling and, and stuff like that. So, it's a cool card. You can see on the back, it, it's it's printed all the way through. You can see the wings on the back, which is pretty cool. Um, very nice. I mean, it's a great condition card. Probably near mint at least. Maybe even a little better. I don't know if we'd get a 10, though. But maybe we'll try it just for a little fun on the grading stuff. So... Elemental Hero, Shining Flare, Wingman, beautiful card. Okay, I, that's ba This is basically the reason I wanted to show it. I was like, we bought a collection and that's Shining Flare, Wingman in it. Probably need to show it. So pretty, pretty nice card. Pretty amazing. So pretty excited about that. Most of this stuff's for sale. If I'm going to grade it, I probably won't sell it. Um, so we'll see about that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel for more epic collection purchases, PSA returns, box openings, and old Yu-Gi-Oh openings, you know, everything you can think of. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you guys for enjoying the collections. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, and Unatai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.